Today I'd like to offer you a realistic bluing olive. I'm going to use Hemingway's Mayfly Wings. This is White Mayfly Wings 2. And these are dark. This is extra small. And you get 18 of them in this package. The hook I have in advice is a standard dry fly hook. This is a number 16. I'm going to use Olive Thread. And this is Vivas 16 Ot. Going to put a base of thread down. And put that down halfway and come back half of that. And that will be our wing placement. Going to take the wing. You see there's a dull side and a shiny side. We want that shiny side to be on the inside. So I'm going to pop this wing out from the shiny side. You can see on there there's a couple of tabs going in each direction of the wing. They don't always come out properly, but as long as you have hold of the wing, it's not going to be a problem. I take the wing and fold it up on the shiny side. And I'm just going to pop that right out. Like I said, that tab doesn't always come off, but we got a little bit of a tab in the front. I'm going to take that front tab I'm going to tie that in once I get that tied in then I can divide the wings and this will help to secure them better by placing wraps on that inside piece Just a couple of wraps is all you need. Now I'm going to take the thread back to the tail now area. I'm going to take micro fibbits. I'm just going to take two of them. I'm going to take the pair of micro fibbits. I'm going to place them right in between the wing. And we want them to be about the length of the shank. I'm going to grab a hold of them on the rear and I'm going to tie them in. Give it a couple of wraps. Put a wrap underneath. Now they're a little long. I'm just going to pull them to size. There we go. That's much better. Take a few wraps up and I'm going to trim off the remainder of that those micro fibbits. We got a nice split tail there. And that's created by putting a wrap underneath the tail. I'm going to wrap them in and keep your wraps tight. I'm, now I'm going to take a hand-stripped peacock quill. These are olive. These are Polish quills. And you can get these from Deer Creek Outfitters or Casters Online Fly Shop. I'm going to tie them in. There is a light and a dark. I'm going to keep the light on the bottom when I tie it in. I'm going to tie it in all the way up the top here. And then I'm going to bring the thread back. I have to turn that slightly so I can see it. Bring it right back to the tail. And then bring your thread back forward. I'm going to take a little bit of my head cement. Just put a little bit of head cement on the shank of the hook. And we're going to tie, wrap the quill.
be careful of that hook point. And if you have trouble with the quills, remember just soak them. I didn't soak this one, but I'm going to get it done. Just going to move those wings out of the way as I go. Bring that right up tight to the wing. Then I'm going to put a wrap in back of the or in front of the quill and tie it down in there. Not even a whole wrap, just a place to, to uh, secure it firmly. Just break off that quill. I got the wings a little bit messed up, so I'm going to just give it another figure eight. There we go. Now I have a olive CDC. And I have some pretty long CDC feathers, so this is only a half of the CDC feather. Got some real long ones there. I'm going to go ahead and trim them before I even grab them in my clip. Let's go ahead and grab them with your clip. Pull them out. And then we're going to trim the stem off going to take my dubbing whirl make a dubbing loop just two to three inches is, is enough I'm going to take my beeswax just a little bit of beeswax is all you need I'm going to take my clip with my CDC in it and I have more at that top part so I'm going to put that one towards the top put it in there slide it off give it a few turns by hand I a couple of them dropped on me and then I'm going to give that a whirl just give that a quick whirl and you have yourself a nice dubbing CDC hackle. Then we're going to wrap this hackle. You can see I have a little bit of thread there. So I'm going to use that to make any last adjustments to my wing if, I, if necessary. Just that little piece there. Put a little bit around the back there. And we're going to wrap that, and then we're going to pull everything towards the rear as we go. Just watch you don't move the wing. And this CDC is going to be enough to float that fly. And I'm going to go ahead and tie in that head, holding everything towards the rear. Take my poke and snip and trim off that dumbing loop.
I'm going to pull everything to the to the rear, anything that's sticking out forward. Yeah, tie the head. See, I got a little bit still sticking out forward. Take my whip finisher. And here we have a realistic wing bluing olive. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friend. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.